to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Please sit down. Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day, the noisome pestilence, the destruction, help them please, that wasted in noonday. There are all kinds of evils sweeping across our world. You get up in the morning, you are stretching outside, you just receive something you have no business receiving. You return back into a life of tragedies someone shout no way peace and confidence many believers are afraid we pray out of fear we walk out of fear how am I sure that if I lose this job there is a way out how am I sure my destiny will be fine? Now that I'm 40 or 50 or 60, how am I sure they are not going to diagnose me with maybe kidney or prostrate? Find rest. I will be still and know you are God. My soul be still and know you are God. Truly I will be still and know you are God my soul be still and know you are God God is giving us peace and rest it used to be elderly people who have high blood pressure right now you see teenagers moving around talking as if they are 50 years someone who is 19 speaking foolishly what is wrong and he's not even aware May that spirit be far from your life. Far from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Worry. There are people who sleep. They have to take pills that are as full as my hand. In their, their teens, their twenties, their thirties, their forties. It's almost killing you. Find peace. Mastery of the patterns of God. Can, you can secure his presence. You can know he's there. Waiting for a feeling is nonsense. You can know he's there. And I will be still and know you are God. We will be still and know you are God. But apostle, while I'm being still, how shall these things be? seeing that i know not a man how shall these things be how shall my life be lifted are you sure god will not disappoint me should i truly put all my eggs in one basket if it is the divine patterns of god you can die believing him i assure you but before you make boast be sure that you are walking by his patterns because if you are not walking by his patterns shame is imminent but if by his patterns, then you can be sure that his divine power can give men all things that pertains unto life and godliness. Listen to me. God in this season is going to be challenging many of you to do a lot of things. Ambitious things. Daring things. He's going to give you instructions. You may do what you have never done in your life before. Find rest. Trust the patterns. Even if you do not trust yourself. For some of you, God will speak to you and say, all right, by next month, start that building. 
and the only thing you have is 10 bags of cement and a land you are still negotiating and God will say you go and get one trailer of sharp sand pour it there let the devil see it that the hand of Zerubbabel let me tell you this God can only become Omega if you allow him become Alpha if you refuse I initiate that dimension Lord you must be Alpha then he's guaranteed to be Omega write this down the Bible is a coded compendium of spiritual patterns the Bible is a coded compendium Bible is a coded compendium listen carefully the Bible is a coded compendium of spiritual patterns that lead to various kinds and various levels of extraordinary results I was teaching the school of ministry students I think it was yesterday and we were examining pneumatology and I was telling them that the Bible just because every kingdom has secrets are we in agreement every kingdom has secrets and the secrets are hidden listen carefully they can hide the treasures of the kingdom somewhere there can be coded doors some of the doors are even hidden in dimensions it's not a physical door you invoke you enchant things and then the doors appear they are hidden in dimensions planes of reality the bible this book you see is more than a book with information it is a compendium of coded secrets from the old testament to the new testament the gospels the epistles down till revelation it is coded and full of mysteries that control different levels of results just reading them intellectually may not grant you access to all of those coded information the bible says let me show you a scripture that will bless you very quickly and then we'll pray isaiah 29 please from verse 11 and 12 isaiah 29 verse 11 and 12 very quickly and the vision of all is become unto you as the words of what a book koinonia read with me a book that is sealed just because it is opened does not mean it is opened you can open your bible but it is still sealed which men deliver to one who is educated saying read this i pray and he said i cannot why for it is sealed next verse it says and the book is delivered to him that is not learned saying read this i pray thee and he said i'm not even educated in the first place what kind of a book is that that whether you are educated or not it doesn't mean anything as far as decoding the mysteries are there your life not prophetically directly is written in this book you are seeing believe me this is not just a prophetic statement is a literal statement but until god opens your eyes you will find something that was written in the bible that has not been fulfilled by anybody and you will know you are the one it was written for not just to apply it prophetically directly but until god opens your eyes you will not see the messianic prophecy was written hundreds of years before jesus came many people saw it and they thought they were the ones to fulfill it but when jesus came in luke chapter 4 the bible says he was given the scroll of Isaiah for to read when he opened it he said the spirit of the lord is upon me when he was done saying it he said today this scripture is fulfilled that means i am the one this was written about you will be surprised to know how many things were written about you and your family until god connects the dots psalm 25 and verse 14 here it is the secret of the lord the secret of the lord god has secrets believers hear me god has secrets not everything is in plain sight the secret of the lord is with them that fear him the hebrew word yirat adonai the spirit of reverence is with them that fear him and he will show them listen 
there is a dimension of spiritual truth that cannot be studied you are initiated like occultism into that body of truth you cannot find it on your own it's the spirit of grace that will draw your hands and take you to that inner chamber of the spirit and you will see mysteries it says open down my eyes that i may behold behold wondrous things from out of thy law until then i'll just be reading the law but when my eyes are open then i will now see hallelujah matthew chapter 13 and verse 11 jesus was teaching and he said because it has been given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom please look up these patterns as coded as they are they were encapsulated into a body of knowledge the bible calls mysteries please shout it after me say mysteries the mysteries of the kingdom what are they the hidden code of operation these are the body of truth that help believers to excel in light the body of truth allocated for my victory and your victory they are called mysteries happy is a man that finds them happy is the man who God causes to approach him when you approach him he grants you access to these mysteries when you find it they are life to those who find them your life becomes episodes of wonder just when you think you have exhausted a dimension you will see another one unfolding ephesians chapter 3 let's do a long reading and then we'll pray there was a man in scripture called paul he later would become the apostle of the lamb this was a man who was learned he was a pharisee and then when he began to communicate certain depths of the spirit paul noticed that every time as he sojourned mentoring and building the church even the very apostles of the lamb were concerned are you sure about these things you are teaching and paul said listen before i start my lecture i need for you to know the basis give it to us verse one for this cause i paul the prisoner of jesus christ for you gentiles reading to verse 10 if ye have learned of the dispensation of the grace of god which was which is given me to you word that means for your sake a measure of grace was given how that by revelation you see it there he made known unto me the mystery a body of truth was given to me as an apostle for the sake of a generation he's explaining now that as complicated as my thoughts are you need to understand that these are not fabrications of a pharisee's intelligence i was drawn like being initiated into a room and i was given a body of truth for a generation as I wrote afore in few words, verse 4, it says, Whereby when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ. 5. Which in other ages, here it is, was not made known unto the sons of men. Wow. These dimensions were not revealed to anyone. It says, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets, by the spirit verse 6 that the gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of the promise in christ by the gospel seven whereof i was made a minister according to the gift are you seeing it there the gift of the grace of god given unto me by the effectual working of his power eight unto me who i am less than the least of the saints is this grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ two more verses and to make all men see 
what is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the world had been hid in God who created all things by Christ what do we do with these mysteries verse 10 to the intent this is why these mysteries are given there are arrogant principalities and powers that will not respect God nor the saints so this mystery was given as a way of punishing the powers of darkness and forcing them to acknowledge the superiority of Christ to the intent that now to the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom when those minis, those mysteries manifest we call them the wisdom of god but listen to me they are a body of truth i'm praying that you will believe what i'm telling you and you will be surprised to see the way your life will change mysteries when you hold them like a bunch of keys you can find rest knowing that your life must become exceptional all you need to do is begin to travel when you stand before a door you check and remember the holy ghost is with you there what mystery opens that door and he says open this twice the mystery that opens this door is there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth there is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty you get to a door and the mystery that opens it is that you sow both bread and seed. Seed is for eating, bread is for sowing. But there are certain doors that both bread and seed together is what opens them. That you can cast your bread before the waters. And in this case, you will find it after many days. Then you open that door. You can get to another door. It says, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy of praise. By doing that, I will be saved from my enemy. So when it is clear that defeat is imminent, you will back up like the days of Jehoshaphat. Write your prayer request on the ground and dance like a madman while people are sleeping over something you know has been concluded. And while that is happening, ah, the God of heaven. is turning things around. Yeah. is turning things around. At midnight, while the rest were sleeping, Paul and Silas said, you wasted your time by closing this door. You would have chained me in the days of my ignorance. But we are not just here as empty apostles. We know what to do. When they prayed, they saw angels. They said, get out of my way. I need God himself to come here. The Bible says they sang. They sang aloud. Because their singing aloud was putting pressure on his integrity. Suddenly, the one who sits on the throne, they sang it so beautifully. And even unto the Lamb, he arose and said, nonsense, let me see the gate that is covering you. And he scattered it into pieces. Let me show you peace and rest that comes through master mastery. The jailer took knife to kill himself. He said, don't rush. This is a result we can reproduce again. There's no point killing yourself. When Jesus resurrected, he did not rush out of the grave. No. No, there's no need rushing. I rose up by myself. What am I running for? And he came out with honor and dignity. I can do it again if need be. I am the resurrection and the life. Are you ready to pray? I thought we'll have time so that I will share with you in my entire life. I hope that we'll take it in some other series. We didn't finish covering what I intended we'll cover tonight. But there are nine of these mysteries that the Lord gave to me. Nine. For an unbeatable spiritual life some of them whilst i learned them as i listened to our fathers of faith i had them saying the same thing expressing it in different ways nine when you find these keys you will stand and play life like you are playing a chess 
go this way go that way believe me i apologize if it sounds like pride behind results that work are these mysteries they are the defense systems of masters you stand and they become a garrison to you irrefutable backed up by the jealousy of god himself you can take it to any nation and take it anywhere people will think you are making noise till the result humbles them hear me we make our boast in the lord and on the strength of the mysteries we have held and these mysteries they are not for individuals they are for the body to be dispensed so that on the strength of these mysteries you can turn back and go rejoicing knowing that life can be at your command we command results intentionally i hope please do not miss any one of these i hope that god will grant grace and will touch all nine of them the mysteries that control fearful results in this life every student prepares for exams but it's the result that the marker when the lecturer marks they place it on the board you will come and see what you wrote there is that true how many of you remember people who will make a lot of noise after exam the answer is five the answer is ten whereas someone will just keep quiet as if he doesn't know anything that's the person you will see getting 95 97 and someone is making noise nonsense from morning till night and you find out that you will get seven or twelve God is bringing us to that place of mastery noiseless victory it is the results that will make the noise are you ready to pray prayer point number one Lord I am tired of shadow boxing around my destiny I want you to bring me to a place of quintessence a place of mastery spiritually financially and otherwise please lift your voice and pray we came to pray a few minutes of prayer Are you praying? He that strives for mastery is not proud except he strives lawfully. The mysteries of the kingdom, controlling results, spiritual patterns, leading men to predictable outcomes. Hallelujah. Look up. Please, we are going to pray. As we prepare to begin to feast on these mysteries in the coming weeks, you are going to pray and say, Lord, open my eyes understanding is a real miracle i'm telling you then open he their understanding that they might understand scripture are you ready to pray lord open my eyes to see may i see what my father did not see may i see what those who have gone ahead of me did not see in the name of jesus please pray please pray in the name of jesus the christ of god Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Scripture says, He that told you have asked for nothing, the seed for receiving is asking. 
he said ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full listen you're going to pray one serious prayer father the door that stands before me now what is the mystery that opens it reveal it to me please lift your voice and pray. every door standing before us there is a mystery and there is a pattern in ministry the door of the next level for your spiritual life show me show me by your mercy the door to signs and wonders the door to increase and multiplication the door to influence and visibility the door to grace and power from on high hallelujah Praise the Lord. In the ministry of William Branham, of blessed memory, the Lord gave him a code and said, there is an angel that I will send to walk with you. And that every time his prophetic gift was to be opened and unlocked, he would have to wait until that angel came. And it was recorded that many times they would wait for as long as an hour. They will sing psalms, hymns, spiritual songs. They will be angry. He will stand there and say, I can do nothing. I was instructed that it is the coming of this angel that opens up my prophetic fountain. And later in the middle of nowhere, he will just say, wow, the angel has come. And within minutes, the time lag will be well paid for, justifiably paid for by the level of divine unction. For Samson, it was his hair not even his hands protect your hair as a nazarene it's not just something that rolls around your hair there is a mystery attached to it for the young lad and that crusade ground the mystery was hidden in five loaf and two fish whoever was careless with that five loaf and two fish will not only be stopping a young man from eating he will be stopping five thousand people from having healthy meals for many of you, God will give you certain secrets that for the next six months, your secret is your prayer life. Not just random as believers. Pray from 12 to 1. There is something I want to do. It's a personalized dealing. You miss out on that unique instruction, you'll be surprised how powerless you will be. Are we together? For Archbishop Benson, either whole site was said that a time came God gave him an instruction that 80% of his earnings would have to go was a sacrifice. But living off 20% made him so wealthy, he was so blessed, he was so visible, he went around the world 53 times. It is the divine strategy that is given to us that provides for victory. When you stand before Jericho, don't guess how to bring it down. Jericho is a fearful city. Five chariots can stand on the fence. You need a strategy. Because even if Jericho falls down, you still cannot pass it. It will still become another fence. You need a formula. Sometimes it may not make sense. You will go around six times. Foolishly so. And then you go around seven times on the seventh day. And you will be asked to shout for some of you. And it is in that shout that Jericho falls down. There are some of you, God would tell you to go for a three days dry fasting. Dry means dry. And it's in that fasting, he will reveal to you the ordinances of the next level of your life. For some of you, God will give you very dangerous instructions. Some of you, God will say for the next one week, gather all your family members who are praying every day. Whoever is sleeping should sleep in the parlor. They carry the person and bring the person out. And you are praying. That is the instruction. For some of you, your strategy is hold your peace and allow me fight. Step out of the way. Your worry is interrupting my battle. Just step back and allow me be the one who stands for you.
Lord, what is the strategy on our way from Egypt leaving this place? I will come to you as a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. If you don't see fire by night, don't move. If you don't see cloud by day, don't move. I am not there. Don't guess. Saul, you are a king, but you are not a prophet. Don't offer sacrifices. And the people pressured Saul. They said, look, Samuel is wasting our time. We can't be here. Are you not a king? And out of pressure, he offered the sacrifices to God or not to an idol. As soon as he was done, Samuel came and said, Saul, you have done foolishly. What did you do? You would have allowed me come and God would have established your throne forever. But now for violating patterns, the throne is taken away from you. God can ask you to carry a seed and give a man of God. Because you don't want it to leave your house. You carried it and gave your child. You did not obey. That's, that's disobedience. Listen. I'm saying this because as you leave this place. God will not leave you without a witness. You will hear him and he will speak to you. He will give you instructions. He will tell you things. Some of them may be ego stinging, but they contain in them the mysteries of the kingdom. If you have the childlike approach to listen, you will be surprised what will happen to you. Are we blessed? For some of you, God is going to give you instructions. Dust your CV and keep it. Have soft copies and keep it. But I'm not applying for anything. Just do what I'm asking you to do. A gentleman got a job by sending a text by mistake to a general he felt like dying because he knew that he had abused the privilege and the general called back he was afraid he said who is this i'm so, so, so I'm, I'm sorry sir i was to send it to somebody he said no no problem come and meet me in my office that became his job that was not a mistake he was the holy ghost directing him to his place of destiny don't choose who will help you allow god choose them you choose who will help you you, you will be punished by the vacillations of men's emotion i will help you today tomorrow they'll say i can't remember telling you that look unto god they looked unto him and their faces were lightened the bible says we have to close let me pray for you father in the name of jesus christ we say amen to everything you are doing. Amen. 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 To our lifting and to our rising. Amen. Amen. As a family of faith. We are receiving that prophetic word. Let it be so for us, O oh God. To visibility, to influence, to favor, to speed, to high level spirituality, to fresh unction. You are receiving, we are not just singing. testimonies come this week to multiply opportunities to open doors to the salvation of our loved ones we say amen to exemption from kidnappers to exemption from the the scorching tongues of men for the last time as a family of faith I want to make an altar call very quickly. Please let's keep standing.
Just help those under the anointing. Our time is gone. We've said amen to your salvation already. We've agreed with God that tonight is your night of salvation. You are in this place under the sound of my voice. All the overflows right down to the basement outside following from whatever nation across the continents of the earth. You are here and you are saying, Apostle, I need to make it right with Jesus. For some of you, you are saying, I need restoration in my spiritual life. Doesn't matter what category, you're here and then outside, please rush, come stand before me here. It will be my joy and pleasure to lead you to Jesus. Let's celebrate them as they come. Win that war. Do not be afraid. You're coming before Jesus. All overflows. Move to your projector stand. Move to your screens. Move to your screens. Those following from your homes, your offices, wherever. I just want you to stand in agreement. God bless you. Come. Come. We're going to sing that song one more time. Amen to your salvation. Amen to a new season in your life. Koinonia, is this how you celebrate salvation? Sing Brothers and sisters, thank you. I salute you for the courage to make this decision. The Bible declares that whosoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Some of you are crying. Don't be ashamed of your tears. You say, ye must be born again. This is a family of faith. Doesn't matter how things have been, God is ready to give you a new beginning. Now for those of you in front, all of you following me online and then those at the overflows i'd like you to lift your right hand please let them come please let them come very quickly lift your right hand say after me very clearly audibly hear yourself saying it you're not reciting a poem jesus is here say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you came you died for me you were raised for my justification right now according to the authority of scripture i receive eternal life into my spirit by declaring that you are my lord you are my savior you are my king i declare that the power of sin of satan of the grave of hell is broken over my life from today i am a child of god i move forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus keep your hands lifted father thank you we present to you jesus the ones you died for it's an honor to lift them to you as trophies thanking you for your work on the cross i pray that the grace that keeps may that grace keep you the grace that lifts may that grace lift you in the name of jesus the son of the living god you go from glory to glory from grace to grace i commend you to the ministry of the word i commend you to the ministry of the spirit i declare you will never be the same from today and forever in the name of jesus christ you are blessed and you remain blessed forever now very quickly there's a gentleman smiling at you with a placard all of you please move to my right which is your left and they'll take you and just just have a few information and pray with you and you'll be back to your seat god bless you let's celebrate them koinonia hallelujah please 